Iranian unmanned fighter jet undergoing flight tests. The pilotless version of Iran's homegrown stealth fighter jet, Kahir, Conqueror, has shown promising performance in flight tests, an official said. The managing director of the Iran Aviation Industries Organization, IAIO, a subsidiary of the Defense Ministry, updated reporters on Iran's advances in the aviation industry on the sidelines of the 12th edition of the Iran International Aerospace Exhibition, Iran Airshow 2024 held on the Persian Gulf island of Kish. General Afshin Kajefard said the homegrown Kahir fighter jet has emerged as a pilotless aircraft in a project carried out by the local experts. He noted that the pilotless version of Kahir warplane is currently undergoing flight tests and has produced promising results. The Iranian fighter jet QAHER-313 was unveiled in February 2013. The single-seat stealth fighter jet can take off and land on short runways. The general also unveiled plans for the development of various jet trainers in Iran with the purpose of achieving self-sufficiency in this sector. Nearly 10 years ago, Iran introduced to the world its fifth-generation fighter aircraft named QAHER-313. Conqueror, in a grand ceremony in front of its then-president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. At the time, the Iranian administration boasted that the fifth-generation fighter aircraft, built by Iran Aviation Industries Organization IAIO, was superior to American-made fifth-generation aircraft like the F-22, Raptor, and F-35, Lightning. Tehran claimed that the QAHER-313 was among the most advanced fighter aircraft in the world. At that time, highlighting features such as high agility and the capability to carry various guided munitions. The unveiling of Iran's fifth-generation fighter aircraft was met with apprehension and skepticism by international military analysts and aviation experts who doubted the claims that Tehran had successfully developed a fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Regardless, Ten years have passed since its introduction, and the global military community still wonders about the progress made by the QAHER-313 because Iran has remained relatively quiet about its development. What is certain is that the Iranian Air Force has never operated the QAHER-313 as a fifth-generation fighter since the aircraft was unveiled to the public approximately a decade ago. Tehran continues to rely on its aging fleet of aircraft, whether they are of Russian, Chinese, or American origin, inherited from the days of the Shah of Iran's rule in the 1970s. Now, QAHER-313 into an unmanned aircraft. The effort to transform the QAHER-313 into an unmanned aircraft and no longer a fifth-generation fighter like the F-35 was announced by IAIO CEO Brigadier General Afshin Haji Farg in an interview with the Tasneem news agency. He stated that the technology used by the QAHER-313 had reached full maturity, and it would be used by two units of the Iranian military. A main priority of the Defense Ministry is to complete the training fleet of the armed forces, he added. General Kajefford then pointed to a project to manufacture a new combat helicopter for the naval forces. He said the combat chopper has been designed by the local experts and will be unveiled in the near future. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made great headways in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient in the arms sphere.